Oh, honey, you're late. Oh, I know. I just had such a crazy morning. I'll go check in with Mrs. Brothers. Okay. I gotta get you going. Come on. You wouldn't believe the crazy morning I had, Mrs. Brotherton. Tell me about it. Well, I was eating breakfast, and my brother was outside chasing the kids around the yard. Kids? Your family has more kids? How many kids do you have? Oh, there's three more kids. I did we know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's three more. Yeah. They're very hard to take care of, though. My mom doesn't like to do it. So my, Your my brother and I have doesn't to. like to take care of the kids. Oh no, they don't. They don't listen at all. No, she doesn't like to. They're too much trouble. Hmm. So, anyways, I'm minding my own breakfast business, eating my breakfast, and my brother's out there running around chasing the kids. Was he playing with the kids? Oh no, no, no. They're not supposed to be loose. We have an area in the yard that we lock them up in. Wait a minute. But. Your mom keeps the other kids locked up with a fence? Anyways, they're just running around, running around, and so I finally go outside to help my brother. So I went out and I'm running around trying to chase them. They're still not listening. So then mom finally came out to help us. And then I had an idea. So I said, you know what? They love to eat acorns and dandelions. So I ran and found some acorns and dandelions. We used them as bait and we lured them into the fence area so we could lock them up. And finally, we got them in there and I was so exhausted. Cooney Bird, this is a very strange story. It's very, very hard to believe. Oh, oh everything I say is absolutely true. Good morning, Mrs. L. Oh, good morning, Cooney Bird. How are you? How are you, Mrs. L? Fine, thanks. Are you ready for class? I'm ready. I've been singing at home. I've been practicing a lot. A few days ago, I even sang a solo at the Royal Estate. Really? Oh, yes, yes. You would have been so impressed if you heard me. I sounded so beautiful. And it all came because I had to stay at a friend's house because our house is taken over by ants. Ants? Yes, yes. We have eight ants that came over. Some of them I like. Some of them scare me a little bit. Oh my. So anyway, so on the ride over, I was singing in the car and my friend said, Goonie Bird, you sound so fabulous. So she made her parents listen to me when we got to her house. And you know, they know a really good singer because they're the royals. Wow, the, the royals, hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, they said I was the best they ever heard. And so the next day I found myself in this situation where I could sing. So I closed my eyes. I pictured the crowd. I was so nervous, though. And I just belted it out. Hmm. Oh, the Royal Estate? A solo? The song I taught you just last week? I don't know. It's hard to believe. Everything I say, though, is absolutely true, Mrs. L. And I even might do an encore tonight. Wow. Well, okay. If you say so, Goody Bird. Well, let's get ready for class now. Okay. <laughs> about what happened yesterday with all the fruit. What happened yesterday? Oh, you should have seen me. Listen to this story. So we're having dinner at my house and my aunt was over from Paris. Paris, France? No, 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 Paris, Texas, Miss P. Anyways, she has to be in the circus. She was a circus performer? Oh, no. No, Mrs. Graybar, she was a ticket collector. But she learned an awful lot working at the circus. And she actually learned, in fact, the art of throwing up. <gasps> throwing up? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. After, she fin after we finished eating our dinner, she taught me how to do it. You know, it's not as easy as it looks. It looks awful. Oh, this is great, but oh, you're not doing it right. It takes lots of practice, and if you do it over and over and over, you actually get really good at it. So, Mom gave me some apples and oranges, and when I was done throwing those up, she gave me some kiwi, and we had those to it. And then suddenly, I was in the middle of the kitchen, and I felt like a spotlight was on me, and I was performing in the circus. I was 
throwing fruit up and it was absolutely amazing. My family was watching me with big smiles on their faces. My aunt was cheering me on. And I concentrate and concentrate, keep going, going, and going. And they counted to 10 and it was still going around and around and around. Goody bird. Yeah, that sounds horrible. You must be making this up. Growing up is not something to brag about, especially while you're in the lunchroom. Oh, I, I promise everything I say is absolutely true. And it's a skill. My aunt said so. Goody Bird, finish your lunch. Your time is up. Hi, Mr. Cooper. Hey, Goody Bird, how are you? Oh, I'm great. You won't believe it. Yesterday, I made the van go at Tudor time. Did what? Yeah, I made the van go after school. Let me tell you a story. It's a really good one, I promise. All right. So, you know, I always ride the Tudor Time van after school. And we take it to Tudor Time. There's a bunch of kids on it. And we're driving along on our way. And then it just stops. It's stuck. And we're waiting and waiting and waiting. And we're so bored. And we're just sitting there hoping someone's going to help us. And then I said, wait, I can do something. I, Goonie Bird Green, can do something. So I close my eyes and I try to remember what you taught us in art last week. What did we learn last week in art? Making the van go. So that's what I did. I pushed myself really hard. I did my best. The other kids on the van, they were cheering me on. And before you knew it, we were on our way. Goody Bird, I, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Uh, you, you, it sounds like you're making up a, another story. You, you, you're saying you saved the day for all of Tudor time. No, no, all my stories are absolutely true, but I didn't say I saved the day. I, I never said that exactly. But everybody was really proud of me. Do you think you could do it again? Oh, I bet I could, and I bet you could do it too, Mr. Cooper. Well, I doubt it. All right, all right Goody Bird, you better get to class now. Okay. Have a good day, Mr. Cooper. Bye, Goonie Bird. Thanks. That Goonie Bird. Goonie Bird, do you have your homework today? Oh, sorry, Mrs. Ski. I had a really rough morning. You always seem to have a rough morning. Oh, I, I do sometimes, but I really have a good reason. Do you want to hear my story? You always seem to have a story. So, I was doing my math homework last night. And just like you taught us in class. But then there was a problem. My dog started barking and he wouldn't stop. And he's barking and barking and barking. So I looked at him and said, what are you barking at? So then I ended up checking outside and there was a, what? the famous boxer in our neighborhood was out there, Rocky. Rocky? He lives next door to you. Did you get his autograph? No, Mrs. Flores. No. So anyway. About? Anyways, he, so he was out there and making all this ruckus. So I said, you know, I'm going to try to help out and I'm going to stop him. So I thought I would take care of the situation. I went outside and he started chasing me. So I, chasing you where? Oh, around my yard. So I ran and I ran and I ran and I ran, I ran to the magic tree house. The magic tree house? Oh yeah, we have it come in our yard. It's in my on, yard. Come on. Yeah, it's Goonie Bird. Is that really true? Yes, everything I say is absolutely Are you true. Tell, so, telling stories again. Again. Oh, no. So I climbed up, I climbed up, I climbed up, and I get to the top, and Rocky can't climb anymore. Rocky's getting kind of old. He's still very scary, even though he's getting old. He can't climb. So I look down from the magic tree house, and Rocky has my homework in his mouth. In his mouth. Yeah. Really? I must have left the door. I must have left the no. door open when I ran out. That doesn't well, make sense. Well, my homework. Cooney bird, no. No. So anyways, I climbed down and I finally got my homework back, but it was all torn up. I can get it on my backpack and put it back together. I do have it. That sounds so unbelievable. Goonie Bird. Okay. I was born at night, but not last night. Goonie Bird, are you telling me a story? Goonie Bird, is 
that really true? Goody bird, goody bird, wait. Hi, Mrs. Sheehy. Hi. Hey, I wanted to tell you. I called your mom, mm -hmm. and I asked her about the story that you told us this morning. And I want you to know that she told me all about the kids, the goats. Everything you said was absolutely true. You are such a great storyteller, though. Thank you, Mrs. Really, Sheehy. Really are. <laughs>